What's good YouTube? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I have kind of a really random video for you guys. I wanted to talk about Dennis Smith Jr. and how his NBA career has not turned out to be what I thought it would be. Uh, he's been kind of you know a bust, at least in my opinion, and for what the expectations I had for him were. Uh, coming into the NBA, you know, watching a lot of him in high school, I thought that he was gonna be, you know, a superstar at the NBA level. And now he's, you know, an NBA player who is struggling just to stay in the league, you know, four years later. Uh, and so, kind of wanted to get into, you know, what I thought he was gonna be, you know, coming out of high school and kind of where his career has, you know, gone downhill or, you know, went for the worst. And then I kind of wanted to get your guys' thoughts on, you know, not only Dennis Smith Jr., but, you know, if you guys have any any players, you know, you thought coming out of high school were going to be, you know, NBA stars or have, you know, really good NBA careers and just haven't lived up to the expectations. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So what made me think that Dennis Smith Jr. was going to be an NBA superstar? You know, one of the top point guards in the league, one of the top overall players in the league. I think the thing that, you know, first made me think this or just kind of helped contribute to that was I th believe he was probably the first player who I had watched a ton of just like game clips, you know, of him. Uh, back in the day, there was a channel. I don't know if they still upload. And I believe it was his trainer, actually in North Carolina that would do this and he would you know film you know full games chop them up and do the highlights for every single game or whatever and he was doing this you know way before you know Ball is Life, Overtime, Baller Visions, whoever were doing kind of like full game recaps uh, he would do them really fast they would normally be like four or five minute videos uh, and he would like I said show all the highlights you know from the games uh, he had a really fun team, you know, with Dennis Smith Jr. They had Quay Parker, uh, some big guy they were throwing lobs to. And it was a really, you know, solid, you know, North Carolina high school basketball team that I believe won like a state championship or two. And so, like I said, he was, you know, ahead of his time in terms of, you know, YouTube exposure, at least for me. Uh, like I said, watched almost every single game of his, you know, in high school or high school or highlights of those. And like I said, it was just really exposed to Dennis Smith Jr. and saw how, you know, dominant he was, you know, to go along with, you know, not only his athleticism, the way that he dominated the game with, uh, but, you know, he seemed to be a really solid point guard. He was playing, like I said, on a really good team, uh, seemed to have a good sense of, you know, feel of, you know, how to get his teammates involved, when to throw the lob. He was you know playing with some really good athletes and so I thought that was definitely something that was gonna translate and then you know you just watch you know his highlights and you know you can still see that you know hesitation to baseline uh, off two-foot explosion he had a couple highlights like that throughout his you know high school career and that hesitation was just you know deadly with how athletic he was how bouncy he was how quick he was and it just seemed like he could get to the rim whenever he wanted and like I said he was an insane athlete and like like I said just a dominant high school player who like I said I was exposed to a lot saw a lot of his clips and just you know figured that's going to translate to you know the college level and then eventually the NBA level so what went wrong with you know Dennis Smith Jr because now you know, he went from, you know, the top ranked point guard in his class to someone who is heading into year five of his NBA career and is only on a training camp deal. He's not guaranteed to make, you know, an NBA roster this year. Uh, he's heading into training camp hoping to play, you know, well enough to get a spot in the league still. I think that, you know, with what went wrong with him, it can go all the way back to, you know, obviously his, you know, college, you know, season and where he ended up being drafted, you know, in the draft because obviously he didn't play as well as he probably would have liked at North Carolina State. Uh, ended up sliding to number nine in the draft and going to Dallas. And looking back on his first year in Dallas, he had, you know, decent stats. He averaged 15 and five as a rookie, which is, you know, very good. Now the efficiency wasn't there. He didn't shoot the ball very well. Uh, Dallas wasn't very good. They let everything kind of run through him. And, you know, he's allowed to, you know, play his game 
it just you know he was a rookie wasn't very efficient and the next year they end up drafting Luka and you know Dallas quickly realized that you know Luka is the player they want to build around and you know Dennis Smith Jr. is you know another kind of ball dominant guard or someone who's gonna to have to be playing off the ball a lot it just wasn't a fit with Luka and he gets traded to New York and so in New York uh, just was never able to you know put it together he's just not someone who can shoot the ball very well a 30 percent three-point shooter and just has really struggled you know throughout his NBA career with you know scoring the ball um, never you know has been very efficient in that regard you know since being in the league and it just hasn't you know clicked for him uh, which has been like disappointing to see because like I said in high school you saw you know his quickness his handle that hesitation still was ridiculous and it was just like couldn't put together you know a jump shot get a serviceable jump shot you know you knew that back in high school that if he got a jumper uh, it's gonna be kind of game over for the league and that just you know hasn't happened at this point and now like I said he's heading into year five in a, on a training camp deal not guaranteed to even make the league which is just insane to me like I said I thought you know in high school watching you know as many you know games and highlights as, of his that I did thought he was a guarantee and it, it just goes to show how good the league is you know because you're not gonna find someone with more talent than Dennis Smith Jr. and he's not even guaranteed to to make a roster this year which is crazy to me so yeah those are just kind of you know my thoughts on Dennis Smith Jr. I know it's a random video but like the title of this video says you know I just couldn't believe that you know he's a bust or someone who wasn't able to live up to my expectations I thought he was you know the type of player who you know just you know couldn't fail in the league unless it was due to injuries uh, which it hasn't been with Dennis uh, and it's just kind of crazy to me or shows how good the league is someone with his you know athletic ability with his talent level just is still you know fighting for a roster spot not even guaranteed to be playing in the league which is you know insane to me but you know like I said a random video and I kind of wanted to hear you know if there's any other players you guys thought were you know guaranteed to be you know you know really good NBA players NBA superstars whatever you thought they were gonna be leave your thoughts on some guys who you know just didn't live up to your expectations I know you know someone like Trayvon Duvall is another one who I know people really liked in high school but leave those thoughts down in the comment section below make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later